All right, this is Precision TV. My name is Desiree. I am here with uh, Jado, my friend. Uh, Jado, how, how was your weekend, man? Pretty busy weekend, man. How <laughs> is it? <laughs> uh, you, you look like you're still uh, busy with the with your of weekend, course. even the, though we are Monday. The weekend <laughs> throughout the start of the week, but I'm already I'm always ready. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah uh, don't go for it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe uh, for our channel. This is Precision TV. You can subscribe, you can share, you can like our videos. We have been doing uh, uh, episodes about uh, immigration. Uh, so today uh, it's going to be more about elaboration of uh, more of uh more ways of uh, being successful here as an immigrant. Uh, people have been uh, trying different ways to be uh, successful. So there are many ways that uh, immigrants are doing better uh, to be successful. Jado, uh, I think that's what we're going to develop today. And um, uh, next week, we will have a visitor for sure, uh, which will be here as an immigrant uh, sharing, with, uh, uh, sharing uh, his story. No, definitely we should expect one um probably you know if all goes well because depending on the busy schedules of different people but i think probably we should be expecting someone to come and share with us mm -hmm. so today uh i, I would say uh today <laughs> today is uh, april tw <laughs> 26 uh so I, I don't know if it's 27 already it depends it's always depends on yeah. where you live and depending uh, on different continents and all that so yeah yeah Mm -hmm. so, so what do you have for us first of all Jado? uh first of all uh previous uh this now is gonna go <clears> deep <throat> like deep of information is the deepest depth of the informations of mm -hmm. uh previous topics we shared about different types of immigrants landing in the u.s that's right so now you're gonna go deep into settling down finding jobs school moving forward until you get, you know, you feel like, yeah, yeah. this is what I want. So today we will be uh, uh, discover how to get a, your first job. And then if you are uh, willing to go to school right away, uh, we're going to touch those two topics. Uh, so uh, if you have a, a comment, if you feel like uh, there's something that we did not say, uh, please uh, put put down in the comment. So let, let's go ahead and see. Uh, I mean, we, we start with the employment. Every right. time when you are immigrant, uh, you get here to in, in the U.S., you always seek uh, a job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, uh, as we discussed previously, uh, we have to talk about um, your life in the U.S. Mm -hmm. But uh, there are basic things we touched on, but briefly how you should just get here and what should you do first of course if you happen to get documents you get the apartment you get how you get to learn how to drive so you're gonna have to access the transport first before you go ahead and say hey i think i need to find this job and start <laughs> yeah working, basically you know? yeah uh-huh yeah uh -huh. so um basically we have to survive on currency we have to survive on money so That's right. and the only way to get money when you get the u.s is finding the job so basically, the first point I would say is digging into connections, how to get a job. Mm -hmm. So the uh, the thing that uh, if you are an immigrant and uh, you just got uh, in the U.S., uh, the first thing uh, before you even seek about employment, uh, make sure you have your papers. Make sure you uh, have done, uh, like you have your I-94 if yeah. you are a refugee. Get ready because yeah. some uh, employers, that's not, um, they don't know. I, I think they don't know about yeah. I-94 to help you yeah. working yeah. when you are waiting for your uh, employment card. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, for those who came in as a uh, um, uh, green card, Order, uh, let's say you already have uh, your green card or you are still waiting for your green card, you still have something they, that can help you also so to work. They, my experience, based on my experience, what happens is that you have your passport with a six or five months uh, visa in it. It's uh, I-995, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. So just to double check with that. So what, what how, what's going on is that that visa has your, uh, your alien number in it. Mm -hmm. So what happens is most of the times... From my experience, I could even apply for the job and then I could even get the job. But during the interview, that's when I could be asked. The pre-interview the pre process where the recruit has to ask you some 
a couple of questions. Yeah. Ask yeah. you, and then by like by the time he's done conversing with the recruit, that's when uh, he or she's gonna hey, are you from here? Are you a permanent resident? Are you allowed to work in the U.S.? Such kind of processes. So if you say you don't have your green card yet, so you're gonna have to tell them, hey, I'm allowed to work and live in the U.S. Basically, you have to explain them because some employers they yeah. don't even know uh, all the documents <laughs> that are required like, yeah. to get uh, yeah. employment. Yeah, so what happens is like you give out your alien number and then uh, you, you, you provide them, of course, with your passport. They're going to have to scan it and then take the copy. And then if you're lucky, they're going to say, hey, we're going to keep your uh, the, 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 your visa copy until you get the green card. So the minute you get the green card, you have to submit it so they could replace it with the paperwork. Mm-hmm. So that time you can proceed and get the job. Uh, yeah, another another thing, if you came in as someone who is legally uh, as well, uh, let's say you have your I-94, or you have probably, you haven't get your social, obviously. Yeah. Uh, that's someone who want to work right away before <laughs> two months. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, exactly. it happened. That, yeah. <laughs> but normally, if uh, if if everything goes well, uh, you can get your uh, uh, your uh, your um, uh, social get, security uh, social card right. within uh, one month. So you can get so it within that's, one month. That's another uh, second document they need. Of course, you can get hired if you don't have your social security. But what I was talking about providing a legal document that permits you to work and live in the U.S. That's mm-hmm. when it, that's what we are talking about ahead. So another thing is like, what do you think about? Um, uh, what should you do? Let's say, of course, like what you're saying, if you have to come here and then immediately feel like you need to work. Most people who come on the green card, that's how they feel like. They feel mm-hmm. like they're going to come and then maybe the first, after like three or five days, they start working because that's the promise. Maybe some people, they have quite some money from different places. So they need to make money as well. Yeah. Uh, another thing that we have to remind people, if yeah. you are here, uh, you are an immigrant, remember one day you will need to get uh, your citizenship. You will yeah. uh, probably need to have all the document to get your green card. If you came in as a refugee, uh, there is a, a document mm-hmm. from your clinic, uh, yeah. refugee clinic. Uh, everywhere make mm-hmm. sure you are all uh, you are following the schedule you need to yeah. go there because th- you can't not get your green card uh, when you don't have your um, uh, your screening uh, finish you have so to do the screening when you get yeah there? yeah when you get here there is uh, uh, some appointments that you need to follow and make make it happen uh, to make sure that once you have your one year to get your green card you will already have all those um, uh, documents ready for an immigrant officer mm-hmm. to make sure that oh this person have done every screening uh, he has done everything how, possible how long does it take to get the social security oh for the social it take a couple months it mm-hmm. depends on now uh, how how first you uh, fill out the form the application form but normally it's about a month. Let's say now you proceed all the paperwork you're done with uh, social security administrations. You get your social security, you get a green card. Maybe you spend, you had already spent like a month or two months working. What do you do after that? Uh, w- w- when when you have been working w- yeah. without a social, or what? Yeah. No, no. After getting the social security, and the, oh, the so document, basically, yeah. you you have everything. You 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 are now in employment. Yes, yes. Uh, how about? talking about how you get a job first <laughs> of course because yeah. <laughs> i mean yeah that, i was just trying to move ahead but i guess i think yeah, that's because, what that's uh, what we should touch pe- base on yeah like people well. uh, people think that yeah. uh they, they always think that they're gonna do the same job they have been doing uh <laughs> in their country see, you're gonna sit in front of the computer right? yeah <laughs> pro- uh, probably you've been an engineer yeah. or you've been doing something uh, like a great job yeah. uh, i think it's 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 very hard to get that same job right away yeah uh f- from my experience, uh, you have to uh, make sure that um, within your first year, six months, uh, if you have friends, it's mm-hmm. better to have that network. Exactly. I think we talked you, you about that. You need connections. Before. Yeah, you need yeah. connections. But when you don't have a connection, mm-hmm. you you always use your uh, skills, uh, your, <laughs> your skill set actually to get the job. Exactly. You to get hired. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, you cannot just feel like, oh, I'm going to do the same thing that I have been doing in Africa or yeah. in Europe. Europe or mm-hmm. whatever because here they don't care even if you are coming from Europe don't yeah. feel like you're gonna do the same thing that you've been doing there of course countries are very yeah. uh, different but 
put in your mind. It, it is possible, but yeah, I don't think on the high on the highest chance. Yeah, yeah, ninety percent. Yeah, ninety yeah, percent. Make sure any job that you feel like you can do it to earn your money. Yeah, do it once yeah. you are preparing to get to your career or to do whatever you are your dream job how did you get your first job my first job was crazy bro (laughs) so and i mean how did you get it how did you Uh, find the way uh, yeah the way get it i had uh, this agency that helped me to apply uh i worked in a hotel my first job was working in a hotel Mm -hmm. so uh it was uh at I got it within two two months yeah. uh, after I arrived two in the US. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, my first <laughs> job was in uh, Austin <laughs> Convention Center, but it's a similar position to work in a hotel as well. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, it was, uh, how do you call it? Um, uh, I think it was uh, not busing. Just uh, uh, we were organizing the conference rooms, right? Oh, okay. And this job was not a full time job. <laughs> Today you work four hours, tomorrow you work five hours, another day you come. Hey, mm-hmm. I don't think I think we already have a lot of stuff, so I you guys are gonna I, have to go back home. Yeah, I <laughs> think my, like mine, mine was full time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, and again, mine was full time. I'm still so thankful to that job because um, I ended up um getting close with a, a very amazing lady yeah, who is so, a staffing agency mm-hmm, mm-hmm. agent and she now put me on a like a full-time job but i after like a couple of weeks i found an, another like another full-time job yeah basically yeah, yeah uh, we are talking this just to yeah. uh, get you prepared yeah. because maybe you might feel like you will do your dream job right away after yeah. you get here but that's not true it's not gonna happen don't don't, don't feel don't put in your mind if you're lucky yes it's mm-hmm. possible we are yeah. we are not we are not we are not yeah. a god to yeah. 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 <laughs> to say everything it's like that but uh, the reason why we are talking about those small jobs mm-hmm. it's because those are the one available for anyone so you guys yeah okay another separate story is that you may come with enough cash right mm-hmm. and then that enough cash may help you like you know pay for the uh, for the apartment and maybe you can just lay behind until you find your dream job or the dream the yeah, job you yeah, want yeah, that's but for how, someone who how long, <laughs> if you have <laughs> enough money but how long is this enough money you're gonna keep you that's also another question uh-huh. and this country moves so fast everything needs money every single minute yeah, th- these are the so, job available for you for someone just who just to got start here. Up. So just th- there's to make a, sure you get set th- the, the system. Working in a restaurant, working in a hotel, yeah. there's working uh, in a like um, working as a janitor, janitor either yeah. UT. Yeah, there, there's uh, a lot of. I, I, uh, like, I, w- I worked as a janitor in in UT for almost like a month, working like three days a week as a part time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, there are a couple uh, uh, jobs that you can work uh, because. Obviously, it's your first job. You, yeah. you, you, you can even expect to know how uh, U.S. culture work. Yeah. I, I don't think you, you will feel to try on something professional. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sometimes I'll be like, okay, let, let's see. Let me, let me learn how American like behave. Let, yeah, let me yeah, see yeah. the American employment uh, history. Let me see how we work. Like experience. Get experience. <laughs> yeah, I stay mean, there. because this, I think that's something I learned from also like working with this large group of staffing companies because um, you meet different people with different cultures, with different attitudes, right? Yeah. Uh, another thing, so, speaking, speaking, of, uh, speaking of employment, yeah. uh, there's something that we need to know. Uh, I mean, you need to know if you are, uh, just got here or if you are just started a job, yeah. uh, make sure you have your um, benefit the ben- every full time job has a benefit. Yeah. Make sure you are taking advantage of those benefits at work. I'm sure yeah. uh, w- once you are coming, you don't know too much about it. Yeah. But make sure you are talking about. I mean, with your human resources yeah. uh, to 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 explain you more about the benefits. Yeah, so of some of those time. benefits, just like medical uh, benefits, retirement. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, four uh, or four one k. Yeah, uh, all these things. It's it's something also like you need to learn about once you learn a full-time job another thing about the job uh make sure you are not just going there for one day or three days yeah, stay there at least yeah <laughs> and then you quit it's not advised yeah. to quit right away it's yeah, not good it's, uh, and also of course like you know you we keep on like hoping for the best and we desire for the best but the thing is here we are trying to get settled we are trying to fill in ourselves with the gaps we found in this mm-hmm. large broad mm-hmm. society but the thing is once you get settled, you can find another place. You can find somewhere Basically, else, yeah. right? And 
it's it's gonna help you too to build your resume. Mm -hmm. At the least resume, the next employer will be like, oh yeah, yeah you have credit, experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the thing. That that's a something good. And that's how you get uh, also like higher wages because you feel like you're confident to say, hey, I have enough experience to get this job, but I need more money. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then to re to respond to some of the question from our uh, followers, they've been asking which type of job, remember, uh, which type of job we can get. I think we, we a little bit touched based on those type of job. You can work in a hotel, you can work in a restaurant, you can work in the um, uh, shopping centers, you can work in uh, grocery stores, you can work in, uh, there's a lot of bunch yeah. of uh, companies that you can work with. When it's your first job, you want to learn about about jobs you want to learn about uh, like uh, like everything about jobs here mm -hmm. in the US so I, the thing is like um, I personally I had uh, I had to catch up with uh, <laughs> this guy uh, he was a Jamaican guy mm -hmm. and he was also you know like you know struggling with the paperwork and all that but he was surviving he's been here for almost like seven years when I got here, he was he was he had already he had already spent seven years. Mm -hmm. So I asked him, "Hey, man, I don't think you're gonna have to leave me in this house and come back and find me, you know, because I didn't have a car, I, but I had a bus ticket. Mm -hmm. But I was like, I can't keep like you know running miles up and down doing nothing. So if mm -hmm. I also stay in the house, I won't be doing anything. So what I need is to find a job. Then he told me, "Hey, I think if you're willing to work." I can take you to these staffing agents. Then the following day, he had a car. We drove together, but he had a different schedule with mine. So exactly. now I could use my bus ticket to mm -hmm. go to work. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of like connection I had to implement because I think I was, my English was good also to get hired. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that, that's something, <laughs> yeah. that's something that yeah, uh, because uh, people have to consider as Because well. people get frustrated here, especially like a uh, staffing agency when what well, you call an, an agent keeps on receiving many calls. So if you're not straight to the point or like difficult enough to explain yourself why you're calling, what type of a job you need, mm -hmm. she's going to hang up or she say, hey, I'm going to call you back. Then she's going to go and then forgot. So that was something also I was about to highlight. And from this point on, I survived to get the bills, to get extra jobs, to get to buy the car and all the way forward. So basically, so basically, uh, even, very important, I guess. yeah, even yeah. though uh, there's a staffing companies, you can even get a job yourself. You have to go out and go to the office, uh, get get them your uh, resume. Uh, there are always uh, some signs saying we are hiring. So make sure you are going out in your city and look for we are hiring. Um, those are those are sign and then another thing uh, right now it's much easier you can uh, put your resume on yeah. indeed linkedin on websites uh, like monster websites. you can you can recruiters uh, zip recruiters there are a bunch of website that uh, yeah. we help you to put your resume and uh, yeah. these recruiters don't, will be calling don't you get it wrong cover. right please keep always like your experience resume you know your mm -hmm. career resume keep updating it but as long as you have it you're gonna find an, another job but of course these jobs you're gonna do in the first place i don't think you're gonna put them on your resume you know it's just like to keep you moving but mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. a couple of like few years you're gonna have to use your previous resume i guess no basically yeah that's the thing that's a first step to get into the employment system mm -hmm. do any job that you're gonna get and then do it a couple months uh, five months six months it doesn't matter even if you do more than that if you feel like you you like it or if you haven't get another one of yeah. course don't 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 quit before yeah. you get another job yeah, because another thing I got is like it were, I I struggled to get a credit card, and I was working. Yeah, cre <laughs> credit card it's something else. You know? uh, because people might confuse it. A credit card it's uh, you 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 get a credit card because someone trusts you. Yeah, so of course, it's yeah. it's not like you you will get yeah. a credit card or something uh, just 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 like that. Uh, yeah. After two days, you are coming from your country. Then you feel like, <laughs> hey, I'm going to get possible. qualified for it. So the problem was, I think the bank matters a lot, uh, matters a lot because what happens is like the, the bank will qualify your credit card if you apply for it. And also another thing they're going to have to check is how long have you been working on the same position? How much money do you deposit? Do you have a direct deposit or you, you deposit by checks? So imagine if you have if you have like if you have 
a non year contract, one year contract, and then you keep depositing paychecks. That that doesn't sound professional. But if they receive like direct deposit from your employer, they're gonna have to track your record and then they're gonna hey, I think you are qualified for this type of credit card. So but for me it was really hard because like so big names like big banks in the US it's hard to get their credit cards. Yeah, and uh, I I can't encourage you to get a credit card after you just got here because it's not advised. Mm -hmm. Uh the best way to do uh get your job first get your benefit at work make sure you spend there about six months to make sure you are building your resume and then after that you can start looking for something else or yeah. get maybe seek the like uh they had the, the raise <laughs> or changing the position where you work yeah. and then after that yeah. uh you 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 will probably uh of course you will have a bank account so because you, that's you, how the company you will suggest pay. you suggest working more than six months before you apply for the credit card oh no 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 you mm -hmm. cannot you cannot <laughs> you can even even five months will be will yeah. be okay but uh i can suggest you uh the first day you go to work and the same day you're gonna ask for the credit card no, no. The, so here's the thing right um, this, of course, I tried to get a credit card after like two months or one month. I remember, but it was just like a couple of days after I started working permanently. Mm -hmm. So th th I think I struggled to get the credit card because my bank was Wells Fargo, and Wells Fargo is really it's hard to get your credit card because the minimum they can give you is three thousand dollars a month. So this was a lot. But there was something someone told me from different sources. They told me, hey, you can refinance your credit card from a different bank. So I applied for the Credit One Bank, and then I had to refinance my credit card. So I could put five hundred, and then I go ahead and use that money. So yeah, the I, I, afterwards, I started using the credit. Now, like you know, of course, the amount <laughs> has already increased. Of, but of course, uh, today this was the way to get a credit card. Uh, today yeah. it's not about credit card. I'm sure yeah. we're gonna bring people <laughs> who's gonna <laughs> explain more about this. But as yeah. an immigrant, you need a job. You need to maintain mm -hmm. that job at least six months and then start uh, looking for somewhere else and then build your resume, put on Indeed, LinkedIn, ZipRecruiter, or whatever you feel like uh, you can put your resume and people start uh, looking for you. So that's about job. That's about getting a job. There are a lot of uh, these uh, entry-level jobs that you can get. So make sure you don't feel like you're going to get to the job that uh, you, you are looking for or your dream job is not coming for your first year in the U.S. It's not going to work like that. Yeah, and again, you have to be flexible, you know. Mm -hmm. And also, like, something for me I can tell is that you have to be flexible. Being flexible will just uh, put you in a very honest position where mm -hmm. I feel like, I think, yeah, I'm open to do any job, uh, right? But anyway, but Jado, this, what challenge did you this, get, uh, get get your job? <laughs> so this, <laughs> this this is the thing, right? You need to be flexible and honest to yourself because you might be open to any kind of position, right? Mm -hmm. And you say, hey, oh my God, I'm okay. I can go there, clean up these dishes or whatever. I, 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 I worked with like Spanish people who could just you not know, stay seven hours cleaning dishes in the water. That was something really hard for me because I, I could see that this is, this is not something I could possibly do. But also I was running... Uh, I was running dishes like, you know, when people after serving, you need to take their plates to the kitchen and, you of know, course, keep running up and basa. down. Yeah, basa. Basa, yeah. That time, man, I, that's when I realized, oh, my goodness, I think I need to be like, you know, fit enough to do this job because mm -hmm. it was on. It was not only the one job I was doing. And then after that one. I was also working in a warehouse pulling greens, I mean vegetables. So that, that's your second job? Yeah, this was my full-time job. Okay. But my, my second job was this busing job. A temporary job. job. Yeah, my temporary job. But I, I needed like money to just, I had to get to buy cars and, you know, getting settled down and everything. But this was the experience I had because I could, I could see the hair. Or maybe like being a janitor, like cleaning buildings vacuum you use the machine yes mm -hmm. but you are carrying that machine on your back mm -hmm. and you're also using your hands to push it mm -hmm. you know so you you it's like you're using two pieces at the same time mm -hmm. you you cannot do it seven eight hours i mean uh consecutively because you only have one hour break or 30 minutes break of course you're gonna get used to the job maybe sometimes you do slowly but after one week man you feel like I think I'm tearing out. So, like, what I need now is a job I can stick on it and then go back home, get myself refreshed, then go to another job. Mm -hmm. This is how I 
tried to be honest myself and then I decided I think I'm going to stop generating job and then I'm going to stop busing and then I'm going to keep my warehouse job and then I had to find another and remember, even secure job so re- remember that. remember this guy he was uh, he was a uh, uh, he had a degree he was a degree from his country uh, but it doesn't matter you have a degree it doesn't matter you know English because when uh, Jado came in he knew English it's not like he was learning English he knew English but he still have to go through all uh, the first uh, baby steps so make <laughs> yeah. sure you don't jump yeah. i mean make you sure have to you take will. some steps yeah. back you know yeah, because yeah, yeah. it's otherwise it's going to hunt you down mm-hmm. and some people they get depressed as well mm-hmm. and uh, f- like you asked me to speak from my experience i think because i came on a green card i was expecting to not struggle at all mm-hmm. but when i struggled the first month i think i was in the position of saying hey Jado, I think I've got a position for you in Rwanda for maybe like let's say five hundred five hundred dollars a month. I could go back. Yeah, you know, the, my the f- mind reached that extent. I was like, man, I think I'm going back because yeah. I reached the point of sleep, sleeping almost like three hours that's, a day. Um, so I was, that's a, uh, the the yeah. six months, the first six months for everybody in it's the US. Hectic, it's a it's a homesick. They yeah. call it homesick. You <laughs> homesick. don't you, you don't really uh, like US. It's yeah. you saw it in different picture <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. from the. Uh, I know many people yeah. have uh, like a higher expectation, yeah. and then once they got here. They end up don't like the yeah. U.S. But, within but say, the, the, their the, first six months. Yeah, but my experience might be different from you. But the thing is, like people I have talked to with different experience from mine is because they have got like very good uh, uh, hosts, hosts who live in their place where uh, they could get time for them. Because mm-hmm. there are some of them they have never even uh, ro- uh, uh, they have never even ridden a bus. They have never. They have never took a, a bicycle, for instance. They have never, you know, used public transportation mean for, you know, commuting to work or going home. They've been always driven around, you know? Yeah. So yeah. these are different people, but they are very few, right? I had, like, different hosts, but they disappointed, so I had to pull up my socks and work mm-hmm. on myself. Uh, speaking of employment, uh, we are here um, trying to be honest, trying to yeah. uh, see if you can get to our dream job. So our dream job comes with uh, our uh, our degree, our yeah. going back to school. So in order to be successful, in order to be uh, working your dream job, it's always about going back to school. It's always yeah. about having your degree from the U.S. Uh, yeah. It's about probably doing your own business, owning, uh, owning your own business. It's yeah. something that might also uh, make you very successful here in the US. And it's, it's I, always I, I, possible. By yeah, the yeah, it's and very it's, it's easy possible if you are dedicated to do something by yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, speaking of going to school, uh, there is also step. It's not like you are coming uh, tomorrow yeah. or today, and then tomorrow you're gonna register at school. Uh, therefore, if you decide that way then it's gonna uh, make you pay a lot of money instead of probably waiting for uh, your first year and then getting qualified to be a resident of that specific city or state where you live and then you will be uh, uh, qualified for many benefits that any other uh, person either uh, you are you a citizen or any other legal immigrant we have as a benefit so uh, please wait and Make sure that you are uh, you have your, fr- your your first year working. Make sure you're working. It's not yeah, like yeah. you're coming and sit down uh, six months and then tomorrow you you are working only for uh, for four months and then you be like you, you don't think like you're gonna <laughs> be qualified for uh, a residence. It's gonna be a hassle for you because yeah, of course, like he said, you need to settle down and embrace your place man embrace the kind i mean the state and then feel like i think i'm gonna struggle today but tomorrow is gonna be fine but i have seen a lot of immigrant being successful after they go back to school because mm-hmm. you know um more i mean 100 percent. i would say 90 percent of immigrant who came to us mm-hmm. either you are coming from asia middle east or africa or yeah. and, or europe it's like you are here with commitment the if they go to school they succeed if they mm-hmm. go where they succeed that that's the good that's the other thing that i love about uh immigrant here in the u.s 
Yeah, because like here is the thing, right? For us, we are dedicated, right? We are trying to reach the opportunities we have never had the chance to access before, right? Mm-hmm. So that's why uh, one of the key elements I find like uh, immigrants trying to succeed here. But the thing is, if you if you want to uh, to become successful and try to enhance your career, mm-hmm. maybe you study something in Africa, have a degree, come here and polish it. You know, maybe try do the same thing because you like it. Maybe yes, and go to school for it. After you qualified and then you get papers like graduate papers from the US, it'll be easier and you get yes. Let, let, let's uh, take a break. We will be coming back by closing and uh, make sure also you hit that uh, subscribe button and like. Uh, you can even share uh, our videos and then uh, we will be right back. I, I won't take you long. Uh, I know it's uh, already too much information at the same time. Mm-hmm. But uh, if you have something uh, that you think we should be uh, share with others, please put in the comment section. Yeah. Uh, if you feel like there is a topic that uh, it's very important for uh, someone to know, uh, please uh, let us know. We, we can elaborate mm-hmm. and have uh, speakers, uh, successful immigrant speaking about that. So don't hesitate please exactly you guys uh, thanks very much for staying uh, tuned with us we always check your comments and that's why I come up with topics like this 